Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all the new subscribers. Thank you for joining us here. We have a lot of good outboard fun here. So, we finished up the little spirit and uh, got it all squared away and we have another victim I'm going to bring in here. And uh, so, let me get that one and we will get started on it and see what we're going to do and I will show you. Let's get it. I got some tri-flow. I'm going to squirt it in the cylinders of this 40 Evan Rude. Just because it's been sitting for a while. Now, I don't think I'm going to need to do a full fax check on this guy. Because if, and I'm going by memory here. I already started this thing last spring. But I just want to get it to where it... Is a little bit lubed up before I attempt to start it. Feels better already. Okay. Because these twin cylinder 40s ain't no joke when it comes to an old geezer pulling it over. Move you right in there. And if you look at those two. Let's see what we get. Okay. I think I'm in neutral. Where are we at? Let me make sure it's in neutral. Feels like it's in neutral. Oh, great. <laughs> well, let me try tapping on it with the hammer. There we go. Like I said, it's been sitting for some time. Right in here. Oh, that hurts. But we got a little spark. We had good spark. Oh, I knocked the clip out. Oh, great. Ah, oh, boy, boy. Now I've got to find I broke the little plastic clip when it when it popped. So, ah, right in there. Okay, I see the parky. Throttle linkage. So we got good spark. The linkage seems to work fine. lube on that too and once if I can get her to start okay the spark plugs L77 JC4s 
Champion, Champonine, L77 JC4s. Um, one, the bottom one was a little darker. But, they look brand new. So, I'm going to put them back in. I see a little dust and salt here and there, but not that bad. Spark plugs don't look rusty down in there. Let's get off the sparky spider. All right, you will be seeing what I see. I did manage to get the one clamp tightened on there. You know what? I need to put some water in this tank. Oh! So let me do that. Put a little water in there. I think that'll be enough. Well, let's see what we get. I've got to psych myself up to pull over one of these 40s. You understand? Oh, uh, and I know this pull start's not the lubious of them all either, so let's see. I think what I'm going to do, I ain't going to pull on this thing. I'm going to go find me electric starter and just bolt it on there with two bolts. Then I'll direct pop it over with the uh, power pack. So I'll be back. Okay, I got my power pack right there, and I put an electric starter on there with just a little pigtail so I can just go straight to the starter. Alrighty, let me see, where's the other end? Alright, let's see what we got.
The way that thing started, I'm thinking one more. Just one more. Ugh. Pull on that pull start and that thing would have started. Ooh. Twin cylinders, twin carbs. Which not to like. See that little nasty creepy crawly right there that I woke up? That's about the third one. See that nasty little creepy crawly? You see him right there? He wants to get me!
Okay, there's the whole system. Battery. Hopefully you can see the positive there I did with the red and blue with the negative. Comes around. You can see ground to block on one of the battery terminals coming in. And you ground that right with one of the starter bolts is best. There's your solenoid. You can see, hopefully, your starter switch. These two wires coming in. One to the big post, one to the little post. The other little post, ground to block. That's your starter switch. Then you can see you continue on with your positive terminal to the starter. There's your switch. Those two wires. One to the big post on the solenoid. One to the little post. The other little post goes to ground. That is the basic start just for a starter. Okay, let's see if I can get you there. Um, right there is where I put the starter button, right there. You can see my red and yellow wire, it runs right through there, up under, up under, and around, up, and right here we are. Um, just like I had on the little diagram on the floor. Here's one wire from the switch going to the small post. Here's one wire from the switch going to the large post. Alright. So that's your start switch. Those two. Here's your ground going to the block. Right there. On that head bolt. To the ground. Alright. Okay, now here's your lead coming in from the battery cable. This is the battery cable. You go into this top post. The bottom post continues that onto the starter. Okay, so you got this wire here. It goes down, up under, and hooks to the hot on the starter. The ground to the from the battery terminal lead is going right there to that bottom starter bolt. So that's, that would be your two leads coming in, your battery terminal cables. This one goes to ground, the other one goes to hot. All right, and then the solenoid is nothing but a switch to continue the flow through that switch to the starter motor. So between that and that diagram, that is just a basic hookup of a starter. This don't get you a rectifier and all that. It just simply gets you electric start. If you want a video for the full meal deal, you have to go to one of my other videos. It's on there, a couple of them. Diablo! Diablo! Come on, man.
in there. Now, if you look at that tiller set up and that shifter, if you look right at the beginning of the video, you'll see that this handle was black and this was bluish. But now it's primer and this is white. What happened? That's what happened. Snap! Now how does that happen? Snap! Well that's what happens when you're not paying attention and you drop an outboard that big on its side on a solid cement garage floor. Yeah, I'm a doofus. I dropped it. But lucky, it's, it's only two bolts. Oh, and that handle's still good. The plastic, no, the plastic ain't going to break when you drop it. The plastic only breaks when you're working on it. When you drop it, the aluminum breaks. The plastic, well, it don't break. Plastic, the handle's still Oh boy. Oh boy. Well. Ah. <sighs> Saved them parts. All right, well, that's about all I'm going to do on this 40 Evan Rude right now um, because the gentleman that's considering purchasing this um, limited income and so forth, um, it has a really hokey um, jury rigged tilt system on it these 40 Evan Roods like this they came with they came with what was called tilt assist and out of all of them that I've had come in here I've only ever seen one that worked and what will happen is when they're in the up and down position like this a lot of times that it's a gas hydraulic tilt assist that helps you tilt it up. The gas bleeds off, salt water gets in, and everything just seizes. And so then you can't tilt it up, or if it happened to be left with the tilt up, then you've got to do something to get the tilt back down, and that something is about what uh, this one's had done, which is they cut off the tilt ram sometimes leave that dangling in there and then they cut off or unbolt and bang out the pin that goes in the bottom of the tilt assist and leave nothing so all you got is the two side brackets and then they just flop around and in this case it's had a hole drilled through each side of it where a big pin goes through and that stops it from kicking up in reverse and keeps it down but if you want to tilt it you're pretty much going to have to wait until you get it on the trailer or on a beach or something like that. So, I don't know if he'll... I told him for extra money I could put an electric tilt system on it. And his attitude was, I don't care if it don't tilt. His call. Customer's king. So, that's all I'm going to do to this one. It runs pretty good. Um, it shifts, it pees, 
it can be started with a battery, it has electric start, or it can be pull started. So that's all I'm going to do to it. Um, he's also, the, the fellow that's talking about buying this one, is real interested in possibly, uh, I think it's a 25 I have out here. It's a 25 or a 30 Johnson. But I told him um, I don't have one of the starter brackets for that right now, so I can't put electric start on that for him. And uh, so he's like, well, let me think about it, blah, blah, blah. And, and uh, so he's supposed to let me know Monday which way he wants to go. But uh, right now, I think next coming in here, I've got a like 2004 right in there. At least I think that's what it is. Johnson 30. The customer says it just won't idle. Won't stay running. So sounds like probably fuel carburation issues. So that'll probably be the next one we have as our victim. And uh, so I'll get this one out of here and get those swapped out. But as always. You never know what's going to show up at this little shop. So, until then, that is one more hack from Kodiak. Thanks for watching. More vids are coming on Inside Out Boards with your host, Cody Bass.